Are you tired of your comebacks looking like this? <laughs> well, Dr. Poop Love here, and today I want to show you a recent comeback that I had with the hunting rifle, and I want to break it down for you and give you some actionable tips that can help you become a comeback legend. And this is not a total exhaustive list of all comeback tips. So if you want to see more videos on this topic, then hit that like button so we can spread the poop love around the world. But let's get right into it. And to start this off, I want to just show you the raw gameplay of this comeback. And then we're going to wind back the clock and break it down with some strategies and tips that you can begin using. So without further ado, here we go. One uniform. Keep coming. Uniform. Fucker ain't getting up. Look out, he's got a rifle. Those tourists are fucking done. See if they try that again soon. All right, so now that we have seen this comeback, let's get into the tips. And my first tip for you is that you need to focus up. Usually, you get into a comeback situation by playing the start of the match very poorly and sloppy dying a lot, your teammates aren't helping you, and the momentum is not in your favor. So in order to start swinging that pendulum and momentum back in your favor, you really need to focus in your efforts, focus in your awareness, and it can really help reset that momentum so that you can come out on top. In this game, I started playing like poop, but I focused up and that helped me turn it around. The second tip I have for you is picking off the lone enemy first. In this situation, I had three enemies behind me, and rather than go for any of them, I went for the lone flanker to eliminate him and open up that entire side of the map for me to control. Of course, I had to move quickly because the other enemies were rushing me. So time was of the essence, and it was absolutely critical that I eliminate this guy right away. My third tip to you is when it's safe, Get armor and fill up on your ammo. In this case, I made a mistake by only purchasing hunting rifle ammo. I really should have gotten sidearm ammo as well because you never know what situation you're gonna be in and hunting rifle may not always be the best for that situation. It did work out for me this time, but I got lucky here. My fourth tip is to strategically use down enemies as bait. It is a risky move because the enemy may have reviver, 
But what you're doing here is you're giving the enemy a tough choice. They could either go for the revive and save their teammate and the amount of lives that they have, or let their teammate die, risk losing more lives, and go on the offense. In this case, I downed the enemy, left him for bait, and circled back around, catching the reviving enemy by surprise and downing him. My fifth tip is a bit of a no-brainer, but when it's safe to do so, go ahead and get that supply box. When you are the last man standing, the supply box drops a lot of extra supplies for you, and it can help you really build that arsenal to take on the enemies. My sixth tip for you is tagging the enemy to keep them from reviving. Here, I made a mistake of missing my execution shots on the downed enemy, and he was starting to crawl behind cover. I couldn't quite find the downed enemy to eliminate him, so rather, I body shot tagged the enemies that were running to his aid to kind of scare them off and tell them they need to keep their distance. This helped allow enough time for this downed enemy to finally die because his timer ran out. Number seven is to really keep your eyes on all the targets and be able to adapt when necessary, going for the easiest target first in that order. Here, I had already done some damage to this one enemy and I may have been able to finish him off had I kept chasing him down, but out of the corner of my eye, I see this other enemy popping into frame and so I switched my tactics and decided I'm gonna take this guy out first. I was adaptable in this situation and it worked in my favor. But during this action, I did not forget about the first guy and where he could have possibly been. So I was ready for him when he came back around and tried to fire at me and this allowed me to take him out as well. And finally, if you wanna make a comeback like this using the hunting rifle, then check out my video eight tips to master the hunting rifle because this is gonna help you get better with headshots and it's gonna really be helpful in those time sensitive pressure situations like this one so that you can make a comeback using the hunting rifle. But otherwise, so long, pooper troopers.